Hey everybody, this is Brian from PB Homesteading, and I'm gonna do the update for the midsize grow tent. A little bit late this week getting videos out because I was doing a demo on the uh, inside of the house for the bathroom I'm remodeling. So I came out here after work and I'm gonna show you what I've got going for the, uh, the seeds that I've started. All right, grab the camera, take you over there. Okay. So I think I've got the focus figured out on this thing. I'm using an AFF setting on this DSLR, so it's supposed to focus faster and use some so you know servos or something. Anyway, all right. So we got the gourmet lettuce blend up here. I still haven't harvested that yet. We're probably going to harvest this uh, tomorrow night for our dinner, and then the uh, I'll take some of the arugula. Looks like it's starting to flower up here, so I might be able to get some seed set on that little guy. The uh, Beta mix over here, it's doing pretty good. Sitting up here waiting to be harvested. Got another uh, beta salad mix down here that's more than ready to go. It's got some pretty good sized leaves. This beta mix over here, it's a little further behind. I don't know what's going on between the difference between that side of the tent over here and uh, over here. But, uh, you know, could be because, I mean, it gets pretty cold underneath the storage area. So it may be just because, you know, the little heater down below there is, you know, getting a little more heat up there and the fan up in the corner up here is blowing down on it. Who knows? But uh, these are the, these are what's the exciting part here is the new seedlings. So uh, it's been let's see what did I do? I did a week, about a week and two days, so about ten days. So uh, this is the DMR salad blend. It's coming up pretty nice, you know, kind of sporadic in a little few areas back there. But overall, that tray looks really nice. We got another one down here. This one did really well, except for that back corner. I don't know if I might have missed missed that corner. It didn't seed too many in that area or what. But the rest of the tray looks really full. So this is going to be nice. I mean, it's nice and full. In another couple weeks, we'll be able to get some good size uh, lettuce off that. Uh, here's another gourmet lettuce blend. I've been, I had to rotate some of these trays because I think this one here was in the middle, so I stuck him. I moved it. Oh, no, wait. I moved it from up, you know, from up here to give it a little, uh, you know, different location closer down here to the heat at the bottom of the tent because uh, some of these other trays, they weren't germinating too well up higher. So I brought them down and... I think the same thing happened back there with that tray. I didn't seed the back part of that tray well enough because the front side of the tray is you know, really full for this DMR here. And then back there, it's pretty weak. So I rotated it back to the back of the tent so that way it will get more heat retained back there than being in the front of the tent out here. And hopefully it gets a little more reflective light in that back corner because I usually have to spin these trays when I'm starting to seed. Then down here, this one here was up the top. So I moved it down below and it seems to have germinated pretty well except for that center section there so you know I'm trying to see if I can get that to come back but it may not and then this one here it was on the furthest top shelf you know up here and I moved it I swapped this one with this tray down here uh, last night because it wasn't start it wasn't you know germinating as well so I put it down here because this this tray here holds it up because I've got the blocks underneath and then it holds it up a little bit closer to the LEDs for seed starting. So I found that, you know, with this colder temperature down in our storage area, it seems to be helping germinate better when I, I rotate them down. So, and I rotated that one down uh, three days ago. So it, it's come back quite, quite well. So hopefully this one here in the center will do that same thing. But they're two different variants. I mean, that's a Yankee Hardy, and that one there is the uh, gourmet lettuce. But, you know, that's one of the things you got to deal with in the wintertime when you come down and you're trying to grow vegetables. I mean, at least... At least I am able to grow vegetables down underneath my house. So that way, you know, I am supplementing our, you know, our vegetable intake while our uh, temperatures are like 39 degrees outside. So it's pretty darn cold. And our, you know, outside stuff, I mean, there's, there's a little bit of lettuce that's still available to eat, but uh, it's pretty far in between. And I'd rather get this stuff in here because it's uh, not, I don't have to clean it. I just take it, put it in a bowl, and stop, Paula and I eat it. All right, well, that's kind of the update for this week on the uh, mid-sized tent. I'll talk to you guys again. All right, bye.